Right. Uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, U1541 Ultimate uh, cartridge for the C64, which is playing now. Now, the 1541U is both a copy of the, or a clone of, the 1541 disk drive. It's also a, a cartridge image player. You can also load tap images. Cassette set images that are used for our emulators and it also handles uh, SD card so it can load all these images pretty much instantly from an SD card now it's a standard SD card that um, you know everybody uses in uh, computing now vintage computing anyway it uses also uses um, the action replay images so you can turn the machine on and it will boot into an action replay uh, cartridge emulation. So it will give you the menu F1 for reset, F2 for this and F3 and so on and so forth. And it will give you instant access to everything that the freezer cartridge could do back in the day. And it will give you access to the later freezer cartridges that have been released recently, the retro uh, freezer cartridge. Among others, I'm trying to think what the others are, but I can't. There are a few of them. You will see here a demo running. Uh, this is a 1541, oh no, a, uh, a D64 disk image that's running now. Um, instantly from the um, 1541 uh, cartridge. So it runs with no delays, no waiting. It is instant. It's a super bit of kit. Now you get three buttons on there, you get a reset, you get a, a, a menu system for the SD card, which I'll show you in a moment. And you also get the freezer cartridge button. So you've got three three buttons on there. There is a port for the disk drive cable, which you originally had on your serial cable for the 1541 anyway. So you plug that into the serial disk drive port on the 64, into the serial port on the cartridge machine, and that will then emulate a disk drive. If you don't use the cable, it just thinks it's a cartridge player. I'm not sure if it uses, if it'll load taps, but we'll see. I would imagine it probably does. The cable will just be for disk drives, I would think. Now the the U1541 is made by Gideon. There's been two versions of it so far, which are the version one, which I have here, and the version two. The version two has got the latest firmware which is a few additional features that mine doesn't have. It also features a SID music player, so you can load images straight onto the uh, 64 and it'll play them in memory, so it'll play tunes. And so overall it is probably the most complete uh, software solution for the C64. It will load disk images, cassette images, SID tunes and CRT cartridge images as well as, you know, freezer images and what have you. The only thing it won't load, or what I've found it won't load, are the um, diagnostic discs, uh, diagnostic cartridges rather. If you try and run a diagnostic cartridge, it won't work. It just locks the machine up. Not quite sure what's going on now. But anyway, I'll show you the menu. If I press the center button, you get the um, disk drive listings which is Demolicious, side one. If I go back, if I knew how to go back, there you go. Using the arrow keys, we've got cartridges, so I can run a cartridge straight away. Let's run, I don't know, for the sake of argument, Bomb Jack. Let's just try that. Oh. Okay. Bomb jack. So I'll press the middle button again and you can select any one of the um, cartridges in this uh, directory. It uses the fat 
32 directory system so you can copy files straight over from your PC whether they be uh, disk images, CRT images for a cartridge or a tap for a um, cassette tape, doesn't matter drag them all over anyway it goes, if you drag seed images dot SID it will play them instantly from the menu so you can see it loads instantly let's go back to what else have we got these are all disk images so let's try the Hobbit run disk and this is running from a disk drive or an emulated disk drive so you can see how quickly it loads might take a few seconds the CRT images take just a few seconds the disk drive is slightly longer I don't remember if the cassette tape is slightly longer than that but if it is or it isn't, as the case may be, every solution on the 1541 is considerably faster than the original Commodore 64 solution. The disk drive on the 64 was notoriously slow. It was, I don't know, a cassette image to load, or a cassette tape to load on the C64 would take about, oh, five, six minutes. On a cassette tape, perhaps even longer, seven minutes sometimes. Uh, if I'd loaded this with the action replay fast loader, it would load much quicker. So, this is loading at an emulated disk speed, which is still quicker than the original disk drive, anyway. But if you use the um, action replay quick load, it will load quick. The CRT, the, uh, CRT is pretty much instant, which is a cartridge image. Tap. I wonder if I've got any tap images to store up. There we go. G64. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh no. I want tap images. No, I said this is about to have any. These are all D64 images. There we go. Skyrunner. Tap. Oh, it just gives you a PRG. So if I run a PRG, I would imagine that's instant. So hard to believe. I haven't used this for a few months, so it's quickly strange how quickly you forget. Let's see a T64 tap image. There you go. That's pretty damn quick. So that's a tap image. We've done a CRT D64 Nigel's Revenge. Right, I'll reset it. I don't know which bit button it was. Alright, okay, this is back to the day, day, day tell. Um, so if I install Fastload, now I load a disk image. Chances are it might be a bit quicker. We shall see. Fell straight away. This is a PRG. A PRG will run instantly, as we've seen already. Really, if you're a serious 64 user, you can't do without one. It is the quickest solution by a considerable margin. Red over Moscow, D64, Prince of Persia, this will be. The good thing about disk images is if it gives you any trouble loading it, you can usually enter the disk, which means basically it will give you a directory listing, and you can run the .prg, the program file, from the um, disk image that we've opened. So whatever happens, it will run. There aren't, I don't think I've come across anything that won't run, other than the diagnostic cartridges, which will load into the... Uh, 
was it the Ultimax um, memory uh, area of memory, which this won't do. Presumably, the car the machine itself is using some area of memory that the Ultimax will use. I don't know. But as you can see, that's this is a disk image now that's loaded. All in all, it was pretty damn quick, which is a good thing because the C64 was pretty dire at loading stuff. So it's very nice that it's a quick loading machine. So that's about it really, I don't think there's anything else left to say. I'll turn it off and quickly show you what it is. That's the cartridge itself, it has a LAN port in it. I have briefly tried using LAN a long time ago, I shall have to try that again and get a BBS up and running. But, like I say, I haven't tried for a long time. So that is it. It's a very complex card, and you can see why it's expensive, but it's very well made. The newer ones do come in a plastic case, which is nice. I shall have to try and get one for this. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.